currently fourth in the East. Brian Winhorst, uh, NBA national reporter from the area, grew up in this area. Um, on what the Cavs' ceiling is this year, this is from Five Good Minutes with Windy podcast. There's a talent gap right now between them and the, the Bucks, Celtics, and Sixers. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean that they wouldn't have a fighting chance against some of those teams in a playoff setting if they played their absolute max ability. Um, I do think that they are a much deeper team than they were a year ago, and they're proving to be a bit more of a resilient team. You know, when they got into that series against the Knicks, how many guys was JB really able to put out there that he believed in? Six or seven. Know, <laughs> I, you know, that's how many he played, but how many do you believe in, you know? Three, um, four. Yeah, like, so I think if you look at what's happened this year, like, you know, he didn't believe in Jetty Osmond. That was obvious when yeah. he played him. Well, obviously, Max Truce is a player to believe in. Um, uh, Karis Avert is a player to believe in. Sam Merrill is working his way into being a player to believe in. Uh, you know, they've... You know, Dean Wade is healthier and a guy that they, you know, that they more and can really help schematically. Like they are making progress. Sam, I, I think that's fair and accurate. Um, the, the the question would be, how do they, is, is there a way they can close the gap? I you know. Evan Mobley is a guy, he's one guy you really wanted to be out on the court just to because he needs time to develop. Yeah, right. And that's one big way to close the gap is, is through Evan Mobley's development, uh, as well as obviously, you know, good health for Darius Garland and, and good health for everybody. I, I really would like to see this team. And I, I think that's the hope is, you know, everybody, the majority of your core is, is healthy when it means the most uh, when the playoffs get there. But you do need some time together before then just to get some reps in and get used to playing together again with, with Garland and Mobley. And, you know, now, now if you're J.B. Baker staff, you've got a good problem because you've got to figure out how to integrate, you know, Sam Merrill into the rotation. Uh, his, his, just his presence really spreads the court because he's become, you know, Cavs spent the off season looking for outside shooters. And, and now they found one who was already on the team last year who's really emerging season, Sam Merrill. And then, as Brian Windhurst said, you know, you've got Karis LeVert, uh, who, who's reliable, uh, and obviously Allen and Mitchell. So what you need to do is get all these pieces integrated, get them healthy, and then perhaps you can close the gap. I I agree with Brian. There is a, there is a clear uh, talent gap, uh, and not super obvious, but, you know, the Celtics, Bucks, and Sixers, those those teams have all kind of quote unquote been there before. The Caps have not. That said, the Miami Heat made it to the finals last year out of the playing tournament. So I don't see one real dominant team in the East. I think that the possibilities are endless for the Caps once the playoffs begin, provided they get healthy and get some, you know, repetitions in and get their rotation set ahead of the playoffs. 